Hello everybody, today we are going to look at gram-negative cocoa bacilli. Uh, these bacteria are termed cocoa bacilli because their shape is somewhere in between coccus and bacillus. They're gram-negative because they take up the counter stain safranin instead of retaining crystal violet, hence they appear pink under the microscope right after gram stain. So the first bacteria we are going to look at is Haemophilus influenzae. Haemophilus influenzae are variable, small, they are gram-negative cocoa bacilli and are fastidious, fastidious meaning finicky and will only grow when particular or specific nutritional requirements are sufficed. Uh, they require growth factors X and V added to chocolate agar for growth. So growth factors X and V are used for the differentiation of Haemophilus species. These are in the form of paper discs impregnated with X hemin and V nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, also abbreviated as NAD. We also use latex agglutination to detect Haemophilus influenzae uh, via fluorescent anticapsular antibodies. Haemophilus influenzae growing on chocolate agar. Haemophilus influenzae on the microscopic view and you can see here they exhibit this uh, school of fish arrangement. Haemophilus influenzae uh, gram-negative cocoa bacilli causes pneumonia, meningitis, epiglottitis, periorbital cellulitis, sinusitis and otitis media. Conjugated Haemophilus influenzae B vaccine has virtually eliminated meningitis and epiglottitis due to Haemophilus influenzae type B. Non-B Haemophilus still causes otitis, pneumonia and sinusitis. Infection is usually manifested or characterized by a rust-colored sputum in pneumonia and upon gram stain they exhibit a school of fish arrangement. Next bacteria, Haemophilus parainfluenzae. Haemophilus parainfluenzae are small, they are gram negative cocoa bacilli. They require the growth factor V in chocolate agar. So we use chocolate agar uh, because it can support the growth of fastidious respiratory bacteria, mainly due to the fact that the heat inactivates enzymes which would otherwise degrade NAD, which is actually factor V. Haemophilus parainfluenzae forms small grey translucent colonies. They are also glucose fermenters. Haemophilus parainfluenzae growing on chocolate agar. Haemophilus parainfluenzae are fastidious and they are one of the HACEC organisms. So HACEC refers to a grouping of gram-negative bacilli and each letter H-A-C-E-K H-A-C-E-K here actually represents different bacterial species. H represents a Haemophilus species, A, Actinobacillus, Actinomycetem comitans, C, Cardiobacterium hominis, E, Acanella corridans, and K for the Kingella species. Haysack organisms are slow-growing gram-negative bacilli that form part of the normal flora in humans. Haemophilus parainfluenzae causes uh, endocarditis. Next bacteria, Haemophilus ducreyi. Haemophilus ducreyi are small, they are gram-negative cocoa bacilli. They also require, they require the growth factor X and they grow on chocolate agar and are fastidious, finicky. They form small yellow to grey semi-opaque colonies and does not ferment glucose. Uh, Haemophilus uh, ducreyi here under microscopic view. Haemophilus ducreyi causes uh, chancroid which is a sexually transmitted disease manifested by a painful ulcer on the genitalia. The ulcer has a necrotic base and a ragged edge. Uh, chancroid is curable. The next bacteria, Kingella kinjae. Kingella kinjae are cocoa bacillary short rods. They are gram-negative cocoa bacilli and are fastidious. 
growth may, may be enhanced by placing clinical specimens in blit agar system then transferring to agar after positive growth. Growth is further enhanced in 5% carbon dioxide. Uh, the colonies exhibit weak, weak beta hemolysis. Colonies are also smooth and convex and some will pit the agar. Kinjela kinjay are oxidase positive, ferments glucose and maltose but not sucrose usually catalase negative and will reduce nitrate unlike gonococci. Uh, Kinjela kinjay growing on blood agar. Kinjela kinjay under microscopic view. Let's see. Uh, they form short chains. Kinjela kinjay are facultative anaerobes and in Gramstein appears in pairs or short chains. Kinjela kinjay are opportunistic pathogens that cause endocarditis, osteomyelitis and septicemia, especially in young children. We will stop here for now. Stay tuned for part 2. Thank you.